Oh, she was all that you remember. Tune in. Look what I got. I got aliens. So we've got the Xenomorph, Xenomorph Swarm, a part of the Alien Collection. We've got two different packs here. Um, we've got the Xenomorph Swarm Planetary Attack Battle Set. The Colonial Marines versus the Aliens. And I believe this is called more or less the same thing. Um, Xenomorph Swarm Planetary Attack Battle Set. Is that what that one said? Planetary Attack? Yeah. So they're from the same sort of series. Prepare yourself in the universe as the universe trembles. Get to know your Xenomorph life species as the Xenomorph Swarm. We've got the Xenomorph Runner and the Xenomorph Drone in this particular set. Uh, it does actually have the life cycle of the Xenomorphs on the back of the packaging, which I really like. Get to know your Xenomorphs. So as you can see on the back of the packaging, um, it starts out as an egg, then a face hugger, then a chest burster. Then apparently it goes a runner, soldier, warrior, and egg layer queen. So that's pretty cool. And it has a little write-up on the back which states, Calling all Colonial Marines, get ready to gear up and take on the most fearsome creatures to inhabit planet LV-426. And beyond, in an epic space battle, the dreaded Xenomorphs have multiplied in vast numbers, threatening the lives that inhabit space colonies, reaching to the far ends of the universe. Gather your crew and take on fight take on, fight, and eradicate the ever-growing numbers of the terrifying alien menace. We have the Wayland Commando, planetary rover bike, and the Xenomorph uh, runner in this particular collection. In the second one, it's the egg, egg and face hugger research scientist, and the Xenomorph swarm's drone. And then, of course, we have the queen as well. Brrr, the big 30 centimeter high queen, about the same size as a regular Necker alien. And it uh, says the exact same thing on the back, except this one comes with chomping jaw action. Awesome. Right, guys, let's go ahead and break these out of the packaging. We'll start with the little packs, and then we'll move on to the queen. So let's do this. I was really happy when I found these here in the UK. These are by Lannard Toys. Um, and they have actually recently not just done Alien, but they seem to be doing a sort of Starship Troopers kind of thing as well. They're not called Starship Troopers, they're called something else, but it's basically Starship Troopers. Uh, this one is like an official licensed one though, because this, is, uh, this has got the alien logos all over it. Whereas the Starship Troopers one didn't, but it looks like the battle bug that Johnny Rico jumps on the back of. Because it's sort of like saying it is without being it, if that makes sense. Whereas this one's like the proper alien collection, um, as a part of the 40th alien, uh, alien Anniversary series. Okay, so what, what what we got? We just got the two figures in here and a gun and the bike. So let me go ahead. There's a lot of rope ties on these, which is dead annoying. Why so much rope ties for these? Oh, look, the articulation on these aliens is pretty decent. They're really poseable. The humans, not so much. But I have other ideas for these, that's why I bought them. I bought these more for the aliens, not the humans inside. Although these do remind me a lot of fig figures I had when I was a kid. And there's nothing else in there, that's just all the packaging. Okay, so that's pack one. Pack one contained... A figure, which is quite articulated actually. Um, head can look left and right. Let me zoom you in a little bit. So the head can move left and right. The arms do lift up that top hinge, do rotate. There's also the bicep, which also rotates. Hands are also static, sorry. Uh, you can move at the waist, and the legs do move forward with a single hinge knee there as well. And the feet are static as well. Comes with a big blue assault blaster. He's been fastened to his hand with that god-awful piece of white thing, so let's take that off. I can actually slot that in his hand now. How tall are these things? They are actually the same height, if not a tiny bit taller, than the Fortnite figures. So there's the Fortnite 4-inch four figures. Alongside the aliens, so about the same height as the Fortnite ones, which is great because I don't I don't reckon much to these. I think these are okay. I like the Fortnite figures, and that means these bikes are also to scale with the Fortnite figures. Yes, so we can use the bikes and the accessories to go with our Fortnite figures, which is awesome. 
So here is the bike. It does have two wheels that also rotate, and that's about it. It's got the uh, W logo there for Whalen. Um, yeah, the Whalen uh, Yutani group. And the Xenomorph itself, guys, is really, really detailed. I love this thing. This is the reason to buy these little packs, by the way, is to get these. These are awesome. And obviously, the four inch in scale, so they are, they do scale with your Fortnite figures. So you could have your own Fortnite expansion with Alien. So the arms do move on the Alien, do also lift outwards, um, and also with the little elbow hinge there. Hands also rotate around as well. The legs are static, but you can lift them up so quite far, um, as well as bring them back down. So you can get him in some decent poses. Head as well is also on a ball joint, so you can make him look up, look all the way up, as well as down. So, again, lots of articulation to be had with these. The tail as well also rotates. So we're going to be able to get some very nice poses out of this thing. As he creeps towards... As he creeps towards our uh, Fortnite... <laughs> But we'll go down to the desk cam and I'll show you that a bit more up close and what these look actually look like. Um, they are funny colours, they are different colours, they're not exactly, you know, in keeping with the actual... You know, proper colour schemes or anything like that. But they look funky enough. I think if... if as well, if, if these aliens were to, you know, appear in Fortnite, I believe they would be funky colours anyway. I don't think, I don't think they would just have the plain black alien. I think they would end up making it in stupid colours. So... And there'd be a... There would definitely be a Peely Banana variant, wouldn't there? <laughs> but yeah, they, um, I imagine that they would look something like this if they were in Fortnite anyway, like a funky colour. But if you are a customiser out there, there's no stopping you painting these things black and giving them some nice silver finishes and stuff, because they are, like I say, very detailed. Um, so this one actually comes with an egg. It's a very nice, it's not, it looks actually hard plastic, that's very detailed, I like that. Perfect for your 4-inch four, four figs. And it also comes with a little face hugger. Which has the... You can actually use that on the thing as well, it actually wrote, they can actually wrap, wrap that around the character's neck and stuff. You can have him just creeping out of the egg there. Then we have the Marine again, let's get him out. They've given him a cardboard effect piece on this one. Random. We'll be using that. <laughs> okay. So that is obviously the guns will be usable with Fortnite figures as well then. That's quite nice. So when they made these figures, they made them all so that they could use the bikes because they've all got the bike hand, which is that, that hand there, which then goes down onto the bike itself. So they've made every figure bike compatible. And this guy even has a little nub on his leg, which I'm trying to work out what that's for. Is that to put the, put the gun on? No. Um... Hmm, he's got two little... You could, attack, you could attack the gun with his leg that way, but it looks stupid. But yeah, he's got two little pegs, and I'm not sure why. The other character didn't have pegs on his leg. But he's got two pegs. Hmm. Why does he have little pegs on his leg? I'm intrigued by that. He's got no other accessories. <laughs> Random. So let's get the uh, alien out as well, alien warrior. I like the fact that all the aliens aren't the same as well, I like the fact they've gone to lengths to make the aliens different in each set. So they, they, they could just use the same alien over and over and over, but they haven't done. So this is your alien warrior. So he's very similar to the other human, you can move his head left and right, you can't move this head up and down though. The arms rotate on this one though and lift up. Um, there's no elbow hinges, but the yeah, hands do move around as well. The legs do lift out, as well as forwards. There is a single hinged knee there as well, and the feet also rock and pivot on this one. Um, no holes in the feet or anything though, so you can't use display bases. But the, the feet are chunky enough that you're not going to need one anyway. And then of course we've got the weird little scientist guy on this one, he comes with a little visor. 
that looks like it could come off but I don't want to tug on that too much and break it but it does look like it's meant to come off maybe that plastic can't work out why he's got the little nubs in his leg though <laughs> random let's go ahead and have a look at that alien queen while, while we're at it Like I said, these, these little sets that I have found so far, there are a few more of them uh, that you can pick up for different, you know, to get the different aliens. Um, I got mine from Smith's, and for those little alien sets, they are called the Xenomorph Swarm sets, and they're just $7.99 each, which isn't bad at all. And then, of course, we've got this big 30 centimeter alien queen, and um, the alien queen, uh, they have recently redone the Alien Queen, and I think they've done, uh, they've given her a light effect and voice effect on the new one. It's got like a voice box in it. Not a voice, but you know what I mean. Makes noise. Um, let me just go back and have a look. I'm pretty sure they did. Gave her some new voices. Yeah, it's called the Alien Ultra Set. Uh, I think I showed you in one of my toy news videos a while back. It's $39.99 for that for that one. But it does also come with this marine. It comes with a orange version of one of these and a green version of one of these. So it's the equivalent of getting this set and that set, basically. I wish there were just sets that only had the aliens in them. But like I said, I'm not really bothered to collect all the humans in this series. I just really want all that. I just want to collect a shed load of these little four inch aliens and build a little hammy of 4-inch aliens to go with my Fortnite figures. So that's basically what I'm using them for. I'm going to use them all in dioramas. What is going on? I'm going to use them all in dioramas with my Fortnite figures, basically. What is going on here? Oh, it's one of them. Them weird little plastic grip things in the feet. There we go. One. Got a second one down here. Urgh. There we go. Alien Queen's free. So don't don't just try and tug this one free, otherwise you will break it. There is actually a these little plastic things on the bottom of the feet. Part of that new meant to be that new saving plastic thing, but I don't get how saving plastic by using thicker, more durable plastic works, but hey ho, who am I to judge? I thought the, 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 the little stupid rope ties were doing the jobs. There we go. Okay, the tail's free. That's it on that one. Let me go ahead and get rid of these boxes. Nice little stand them back up, it might create a nice background. When we go to desk camp, there we go. All right. So, this time we have the big alien queen. So you push the head forward and it brings out the inner tongue bit. There's also a rotation at this arm that rotates forward. There's a hinged elbow there as well that clicks into place. There's some little arms here as well that can also move, which is nice. And again, the other arm will be the same. Um, the head itself can move left and right, so that's nice. A nice looking round action. I wish it had some. I wish this one had some voice effects to it as well. But the figure itself is very nicely painted, well decaled. Right now she's missing a tail, so let's go ahead and add that in. It's a nice dark purple. Um, the purple seems to two-tone from that blue there at the tip of the tail right through to a dark purple and that seems to go through to the rest of the skin as well. If you look, it is blue in places and then purple on the exterior. So that is really nice. <laughs> That's a great little toy. I like it. For the price point, it's fun. I know a lot of people are going to see this and go, oh my god, that's really expensive for what it is. It isn't really, is it? Let's be honest. I think this is nice for the price point. It's a solid figure. Your kids aren't going to be able to break that in a thousand years because that is really durable. 
So I think these have got the staying power. But obviously it's a kids range and they're doing Alien, so that's interesting. A lot of people do kick off about these things and say these franchises are for children. But I beg to differ, when I was a kid back in the 90s I had Alien toys, Kenner made them. And they also made Predator toys. And you know what, I watched the film when I was quite young. My dad was a big sci-fi nerd. And uh, we watched Alien and Predator very regularly. Plus the fact that I had a lot of time in hospital as a child and, uh, you know, when you're on men's wards, not children's wards, may I add, men's wards, in the hospital, because the operations you're having, the films aren't usually that PG friendly. So, <laughs> I tend to find myself wa you know, watching things like Alien and Predator and Arnold Schwarzenegger movies and um, Sylvester Stallone films and stuff like that, so I found out about these franchises pretty early on than I probably should have done. I'm just standing everything up here on the desk. We will go to the desk cam to give you guys an up-close personal look at these figures um, and just see what you guys think of them and whether you think they're going to be worth picking up for your collections. I really like them. I think they are worth picking up. But obviously I'd like to see, show you on desk cam what they're like so you guys can make your minds up as well. Right, guys, let's go ahead and down to the desk cam. So, guys, here we are, the Marines. And of course that figure there, it, the big alien queen is beautifully done. That purple and blue looks really nice, that two-tone. I've got no idea when I'm going to keep this thing. But <laughs> it is awesome and I am keeping it. Um, the figure itself, like I said, is very, very well painted, crafted, sculpted. And then it goes down to these little figures as well. These guys can... Pfft, see ya. They are rubbish. I don't like them. I think the humanoid characters in this series are naff. And the, even the guns don't look like cracking. Let's be brutally honest. However, when you bring in characters from the likes of the Fortnite series, they scale exactly the same, and they look better. So, we will be using Fortnite figures with this series. I'm going to make some awesome dioramas of the alien menace taking over the Fortnite world. And of course, that also means that these bikes and things also will scale with our Fortnite figures, as I will just demonstrate. Alright guys, so there you go. They do fit lovely on these figures. As you can see, we've got a, the alien stalking one of the Fortnite figures there as he's on his back trying to fend off her face. I'll go after he put his leg and took a wrong step into the egg. Then you've got one of the Xenomorphs is being pinned down by the pickaxe that's been stuck in him and he's currently being shot on by DJ Yonder who's escaping on the whaling bike there. <laughs> As the big alien charges towards them. So guys, as you can see, they do scale pretty well. And I'm happy about that. Because that's what I'm going to be using them for. With my Fortnite figures. I hope that in the future, the Lanyard the, um, toys do let us just have packs of aliens. Rather than include these weird marine things with them. Because as far as I'm concerned, these just aren't. Nah, they're not. I don't like them, personally. It's much more fun with the Fortnite stuff. So I'll be sticking with that. Guys, what are your thoughts on this series? Let me know in the comments below. So guys, what are your thoughts on this new Aliens collection? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, guys, and you want to see more of these aliens fighting the Fortnite, guys, let me know in the comments down below, and I can make some more photos up for Instagram and wherever you made little Ooh. short videos and snippets and stuff. Ooh. But thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!